are the ingredients you need to make a delicious Philly cheesesteak. You need some bread. Here I have some sub roll bread, some mushrooms. I will go with fresh versus canned, but if you got canned, that's okay. Some provolone, some thinly sliced meat. In this case, I'm using Milanesa because it's perfect for this. And then some bell peppers. I really become very fond of this pepper onion blend. But if you got fresh, good. But these are the ones I definitely recommend. They come in so clutch. I'm gonna start off by sauteing the veggies. So here I'm gonna throw in like three fourths butter. And then you wanna add in a little bit of oil. And I'm gonna let that heat for like a couple minutes until the butter's melted and then I'll add in the veggies. Now that we've got the butter like this, I'm gonna add in the pepper blend. I'm gonna let these defrost a little bit before I add in the mushrooms. And you wanna start with your veggies first because those take quite a while to saute. I'm gonna start chopping up the meat. So I'm gonna try to cut two slices at a time. And I'm just gonna cut them into pieces like this. And then I'm gonna cut them in half. So as you can see, the slices are getting bigger here. I'm gonna get them like this and then cut them into like inch pieces. Just like this. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna finish chopping up the meat and then I'll get right back to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in the mushrooms. Let them saute and by the time everything's done, everything should be ready to go. I am going to season them a little bit with my favorite, some sazon. And just a little bit of garlic salt. It looks like a lot, y'all, but trust the process. I'm gonna give it one minute mix and then let them saute. Here I have my meat. I've chopped it up how I want it, so now I'm going to add it into the pan. I'm going to add in some oil. Just a little bit. I'm gonna let that heat up for about a minute and a half before I add in the meat. I'm going to add in the meat. I'm gonna try to break it up apart a little bit. Now I'm going to season it. I'm gonna add some cumin, some sazon, some garlic salt. Y'all can season it however you like. It's all to your liking. You don't have to use these seasonings. It's really what you like. And then I'm just gonna add some carne asada seasoning because this is really good seasoning. And mix that all up. This is what the veggies are looking like. As you can see, the butter is like slowly starting to evaporate, and that's what you're looking for. So I'm gonna now lower the heat onto low heat until it's time to add them into the fillets. Here's the meat. It's cooking up nicely. You want all that liquid to slowly start evaporating. And then that's when it will be done. Season it all to your liking. Mine is perfect. It's not salty. You have to trust the process. If you're using seasonings with salt, you need to be careful with it because they have salt. You don't want to make it salty. The meat is done. And our veggies are done as well. I'm going to mix in the veggies. And then you're just going to toss that in there, make sure everything's evenly mixed in. I've mixed everything together. So I'm going to just spread it out like this. Now that everything is evenly mixed in, I'm going to grab the provolone. And then I'm just going to place it on top like this. Just going to make a circle with it. Like this. 
space for one more in the middle because we like them cheesy. So now that I got the cheese in there, I'm going to cover it. I have it on medium low heat and I'm going to keep it there for five minutes. And here I put the bread to toast on the pan where I had the veggies. So that's why it's glistening a little bit. So I toasted it on one side for three minutes and right now I just flipped it over and I'm going to toast it for three more minutes on low heat. All right, y'all. Look at that, y'all. Look at how cheesy that looks. Yum. Let me mix it all in together. So you want to make sure everything is mixed in together. And as you can see, it's super cheesy. You can add more cheese if you want. You can add it to your sandwich or leave it like that. So I'm going to add a little bit of mustard. A little bit of mayo. Look at that. Mm. Y'all, look at this. Doesn't it look so freaking delicious. Oh, I cannot wait to dig in, y'all. Yeah. So I paired it with some wedges. Yeah. So freaking good, you guys. This is probably the best Philly I've ever made. Definitely recommend. I'm gonna finish up my Philly. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Go show me some love, comment, like, and subscribe. Bye. Yeah.